Hello everyone. Today, we're going to show you how to build the NewTek HAS NewTube Headphone Amplifier Kit. First, peel off the release paper from one side of the white cushion and attach it to the back of the NewTube circuit board. Likewise, take the two long black cushions and attach them to the edges of the NewTube circuit board, like so. Then take the two short black cushions and attach them to the new tube. Make sure not to cover the connector with the cushion. Connect the new tube circuit board and the main circuit board with the harness. Connect them so that there's no gap between the harness and the connector. Then remove the release paper on the cushion that's on the back of the new tube circuit board and attach that new tube circuit board to the main circuit board. This ensures the new tubes are protected from unwanted contact with other components. Mount a spacer onto the circuit board with a washer and a screw. The washer must be inserted between the spacer and the board. In the same way, mount the other three spacers. The brass screws on the new tube end of the circuit board and the black screws on the other end, snug with a screwdriver. Next, we're going to install the circuit board into the case. Peel off the release paper from the double-sided tape attached to the insulation sheet and attach it carefully to the inside of the case. Be careful not to cover the screw holes. Make sure that there's no nut and washer attached to the volume control and slide the main circuit board into the case. After mounting, attach the washer to the volume and then use the volume nut to temporarily tighten the volume onto the case. Fix the main circuit board in place by using two small silver screws into the two holes at the bottom of the case. When that's done, retighten the volume nut to affix the volume permanently. Now it's time to add a knob onto the volume control. Attach the knob to the volume and tighten the fastener screw with a hex wrench. Now it's time to put the batteries in. Make sure to use two AA alkaline batteries for the NewTek HAS. After you've prepared the cover by removing the two protective plastic sheets, attach the battery cushion to the inner side of the cover underneath the new tech text. With the printed jack names facing the side with the jacks, put the cover on and fasten the knurled screws. Be sure to tighten these by hand as over tightening with a screwdriver or other tool can damage the screws or the HAS. Lastly, attach the rubber feet and rating label onto the bottom of the case. Make sure not to cover up the screws or cover up the label with the feet. And we're done. The main board comes pre-adjusted at the factory, so you don't have to do anything generally. But if you notice a difference in volume between left and right, you can adjust the balance using a trim pot on the main circuit board. Open up the HAS using the hand-tightened knurled screws, being sure to save the screws for later, and connect a sound source to the HAS and a pair of headphones. Now use your own ears to gauge and adjust the internal trim pots to ensure that both sides match in volume. The internal op amp is also user replaceable, so if you prefer a different op amp, you can easily swap it out. Be careful to remove from the socket with a screwdriver or another tool and swap in the one that you desire. Choose one that uses the same rated voltage. And that's it. Thanks for watching.